Okay. Um, I did see something. I saw. Now I got to try to remember what it was. I saw two things, but I can't remember one right now. Um, well, the first thing I saw was. What a bummer. Okay. Uh, the first thing I saw was a, it was like a seagull and it had a fish in its mouth. And then it turned around full circle and it turned into one of those birds that can hold a bunch of fish in their mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what kind of bird that is. Mm. Um, and then it zoomed in on the foot of that bird and that foot was, it's really important to see that the feet of the bird and then the the light went up to the top of the leg of the bird so it was just supposed to be it enlarged the foot and then it lit up to the top of the leg the foot mm. that was the very first vision i saw and i saw another one and i it's it's not in my mind anymore i can't i can't remember it right now um but I wanted to say one thing. I just got to step away from this loud baby. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> I can hear you. No worries. Um, I shared this with Rachel uh, yesterday on our way home, and I just feel like it's a testimony to you guys, and it's a testimony um, that needs to be heard. But it was very simple. My, we, everybody in my car was crying, but Kellen said, Mom, do you know why I'm crying? Mm. And I said, no. And he said, because the people in Washington bring comfort, they bring protection, and they bring safety to me. Mm. And I just felt that <laughs> he doesn't usually say stuff like that. And I also felt like that goes exactly in line with what you guys have been speaking family culture this morning. So it's just basically a confirmation of what you guys are doing there. And it was just the people of Washington, you know, it wasn't a specific person. So it was just everybody as a whole. So, mm. Well, bless him for that. Thank you for sharing that, sister. That is so precious and uh, so encouraging to us. Uh, thank you. Give him a hug for us. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless him. Amen. Mm.